half a century long physics hunt to explain how all particles in the universe obtain their mass has reached a historical turning point on July the 4th, when CERN announced to the world the discovery of a new particle. Today is also a special day because we hear two presentations from the two experiments, ATLAS and CMS, on their update on a search for a certain particle. Conclude by saying that we have observed a new, new boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GV at 4.9 standard deviations. So, zooming in this region. Is this new boson the longest sought-after particle in the history of physics? The data presented at CERN by ATLAS and CMS, the two Higgs boson hunting experiments at the LHC, are convincing enough to label the findings a discovery. We have a discovery. We should state it. We have a discovery. We have observed a new particle consistent with a Higgs boson. Huh. <laughs> Which one? That remains open. It is a milestone. I think we can all be proud. And that final remark deserved a standing ovation from the physicists present in the main auditorium at CERN and the rest of the community following live from physics institutes all over the world. Is there any applause in Melbourne? Most were gathered in Melbourne, Australia, where the annual meeting of particle physics ICHAP had just started. I'd like to add my congratulations to everybody involved in this tremendous achievement. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. <laughs> in the audience at CERN, seats were reserved for four of the five living eminent theorists who independently proposed this theory for the first time in the 1960s. During the over 40-year-long hunt, the Higgs idea has been spreading around with all sorts of names. The new weather, the holy grail of physics, but most known among all, the God Particle. Why is this discovery such an important milestone in physics? At the beginning, uh, more than 40 years ago, people had no idea about where to look for it. So it's, it's really amazing for me that, 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 to find out that it's, it's really enough, shall we say, <laughs> enough for a discovery claim. Uh, this is extremely important because it really is the stone that shows that everything is in place. Well, it shows that the people who put this machine together did uh, an excellent job. And uh, uh, some of my colleagues have remarked about how amazingly trouble-free uh, this machine has been. The result now is really extremely impressive and I am full of admiration of what CERN has realized. We, but when we started working on it, uh, working with Professor Kibble, we knew that we had indeed done something that was very different and was very exciting, but we still didn't expect it to have anything to do with physical reality. The idea of a field that fills the entire universe, mediated by a particle with zero spin and an undetermined mass, a so-called scalar boson giving mass to all other particles, is definitely a counterintuitive one, and certainly very different. We were told that we were wrong. So different that it was quite difficult to accept it when it was first proposed. But I was told by Heisenberg that I was wrong, which was pretty scary uh, for a young man who wanted to get a job. I wrote a short paper about that, and I, uh, I sent it off to Physics Letters uh, whose editor was at CERN, and they rejected it. It shows, certainly to us, the value of just imagining. It was really fun for us, and now we see that something really important has happened from those ideas. 
It has taken almost 50 years to transform those initial ideas into a physical reality. It will take some more years and considerable amounts of new data to identify the newly found particle's characteristics. This boson is, is a very profound thing that we found. Okay, this is, this is not like other ordinary particles. It, it really is, is, we're reaching into the fabric of the universe at a level we've never done before. We will continue to work very hard to see if there is any uh, new physics and uh, I mean, this is hopefully not the only discovery of, uh, of, of the LHC.